How to Eat Fried Worms by Thomas Rockwell. Chapter 3 Training Camp. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Billy was doing push ups in the deserted horse barn. He wasn't worried about eating the first worm, but people were always daring him to do things, and he'd found it was better to look ahead to try to figure things out, get himself ready. Last winter, Alan had dared him to sleep out all night in the igloo that they'd built in Tom's backyard. Why not, Billy thought to himself. What could happen? About midnight, huddled, shivering under his blankets in the darkness, he began to wonder if he should give up and go home. His feet felt like aching stones in his boots, even his tongue inside his mouth was cold. But half an hour later, as he was stubbornly dancing about outside in the moonlight to warm himself, Tom's dog Martha had come along with six other dogs all in a pack, and Billy had coaxed them into the igloo and blocked the door with an orange crate. And after the dogs had stopped wrestling and nipping and barking and sniffing around, they'd all gone to sleep in a heap with Billy in the middle, as warm as an onion in a stew. But he hadn't been able to think of anything special to do to prepare himself for eating a worm. So he was just lumbering up in general. Push-ups, knee bends, jumping jacks, red face, perspiring. Nearby in an orange crate, he'd set out bottles of ketchup and Worcestershire sauce, jars of piccadilly and mustard, a box of crackers, salt and pepper shakers, a lemon, a slice of cheese, his mother's tin cinnamon and sugar shaker, a box of Kleenex, a jar of maraschino cherries, some horseradish, and a plastic honey bear. Tom's head appeared around the corner. Ready? Billy scrambled up, brushing back his hair. Yeah. Ta-ra! Tom flung the door open. Elm marched in, carrying a covered silver, silver platter in both hands. Joe slouching along beside him with a napkin over one arm, nodding and smiling obsequiously. Tom dragged another orange crate over beside the first, and Alan set the silver platter on it. A chair, cried Alan. A chair for the monsieur. Come on, said Billy. Cut with the clowning. Tom found an old milking stool in one of the horse stalls. Joe dusted it off with his napkin, showing his teeth, and then ushered Billy onto it. Ladies and gentlemen, shouted Alan, I present my masterpiece, Verm Alamed. He swept the cover off the platter. Brah! cried Billy, recoiling.